Howdy, everybody. This is video number 12 for the horizontal stabilizer. Um, in this video, I am attaching the rear spar to the horizontal stabilizer. You can see I have it all pre code there. Um, the first thing you do is you attach the rear spar to the ribs, um, and then you rivet the skins to the rear spar and that's pretty much all i really do in this video it's not a very long video um, but use pop pop rivets to attach the rib to this in side spar or the inside ribs um, and then the outside ribs the ones you can get out with a um, with the squeezer you use like the the 474 4-6s and 4-4s on the ends. So it's a pretty quick video today, so I have a joke. So here we go. We'll see if you like it. My wife thought it was kind of dirty, so just FYI, I don't think it is. But you guys be the judge. Let me know. Last Christmas, we went and bought a fake Christmas tree. And the guy behind the counter was like, are you going to put it up yourself? And I was like, don't be disgusting. I'm going to put it in the living room. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, sometimes I kill myself. Um, but there we go. That was me just riveting in the, the last bit of the, the left side. And then this is doing the right side, getting the... 470, I believe they were 4-6s or 4-7s. They were pretty big. They went through the doubler and all that stuff. Um, so pretty big rivets. And then you have smaller ones on the ends there. And I will be adding um, kind of a music track to this video. It's the first time I've I've done that, so we'll see how it goes. See what it sounds like. Um, it'll be quieter, some kind of background music. I had somebody tell me that that might be something I wanted to do, so we'll try it. You guys tell me if you like it or not. So there I am getting the right rivets for the skins to attach the skins. They're, um, I believe they're three dash fours. You go there. Um, and I get smart after a while. I see I was putting one at a time, and now I just decided to put, hey, just go put them all in the holes. As long as you're not bucking rivets, the squeezer is pretty smooth, so it's not going to knock them out of the holes. Um, if you're bucking rivets, you can obviously only do one at a time because the bucking motion just kicks them out. So you do every other one, pull all the clecos out, put the neck set in. Squeeze all of those. You will see that I, I make a mistake. Well, it's not really a mistake, but I the squeezer itself, when you have the adjustable um, head on the squeezer, as it goes, it gets loosened up. And so it will, it will turn and become, it'll have more space between it. Um, and so you have to make sure you keep you know putting it back every, I don't know, 20th one or something like that. It's not, not very noticeable, but it does do it. And when you're doing hundreds of them, you know, through the through the day, you can it'll loosen up enough that it actually makes a difference. And so you will see me. Um, I think I get done with this side, and then maybe the part of the right side before I realize, hey, those don't look like they're squeezing as far as they should. And you'll see me grab the measuring thing, and I start measuring where where was the last time that I I had a good rivet, and then I just redo all the rivets basically. So here I am working on the bottom of the right side. Put them all in, squeeze them all. And then I think I get to the other side when I realize, oh, wait a minute, it's not squeezing. And it, it came undone about, I don't know, a tur of maybe a half a turn. Um, so I tightened it back up, re-squeezed them, and then just made sure I kept it where it was supposed to be. Um, and just re-squeezed all the rivets on the back side there. 
If I don't notice it, don't notice it. It is squeezing them, it's just not enough. Um, and you use the little measuring device to, to see those. And I have a, a video about the, the measuring, the rivet tool gauge thing. Um, so you kind of know what I'm talking about. So there I am, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. Get to the end. See, there's me measuring them. It's like, hey, where, where did it? Which screw was, or which rivet was messed up? So I retighten it back up. Go get all of them again. Make, and then test them. Make sure they're all right. Go do it, and you'll see me grab the little tester uh, thing and just make sure I'm hitting them all, making sure they're all properly squeezed. And you'll see me check and tighten it back up every so often there as well. It's pretty quick, you can't really tell, but when I reach toward that front part, there's checking them again. And there, I just tighten it back up a little bit. And there you go. And then this is the last section. We take the plecos out, fill it in with some rivets, and then we are done. So I do have one extra thing still left to put on there, but I haven't got it. It's on back order. So when it comes in, I'll film that and get it out there to you guys. As always, if you have anything, feel free to leave it in the comments. Talk to you later. Bye.